أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My name is Imran Heather and I am here to teach you statistics as well as mathematics and uh, this is my first lecture and we will discuss in this uh, lecture uh, data and its types and uh, let's start our lesson so first of all we start from the definition of data that what is data so data is raw ungrouped facts that needs to be processed when data is processed organized structured or presented in a given context so as to make it useful it is called information i uh, mean to say that uh, the uh, data is uh, uh, something which is in raw material that that is unorganized facts so we proceed it uh, to make it uh, useful information so let's uh, uh, see an example of uh, the data first of all so this is the example of the data raw material we have some numbers 51 77 58 82 64 and 70 we are not not sure about these number that uh, hmm, what is the meaning of these numbers when we proceed or make a process on this raw data and we have an instruction that this is the test scores achieved by students now we are clear about this raw data that these are the marks of student of a class uh, which they scored out of 100 marks so first student got 51 other 77 58 82 64 and 70 when uh, so uh, we have to make it yeah or we are called to find an average of these marks so we take an average of these marks add up these numbers and divided by uh, number of students and we got the average of this test is 67% now this become an information now this become an information uh we get an information that these are the number of uh, individual students and average is 67 now this is useful information this is useful for us we can estimate that the student number 1 got below our score below the average average marks this uh score high than average marks and so on so this is now this is a useful information now when we proceed or process make a process on this raw data it will become an information this was an example of a data how we make it information so uh, there are some types of data there are some types of data basically there are two types of data the first one data data is uh, data has two types the first one is qualitative data and quantitative data qualitative data uh, the data we can define it uh, this is the data in which uh, we belongs or we deal with such thing uh, just like wisdom honesty cleanliness and so on number are not not involves in qualitative data and quantitative data the data which uh, belongs to the number the data which consists of numbers that is called quantitative data so these uh, uh, qualitative data have sub two types nominal data and the second type is sub type is ordinal data nominal data this uh, this is the qualitative data in which uh, we don't care about order order of the data and ordinal data is uh, the data in which we care about the order of data quantitative data this have sub two types discrete data and continuous data in discrete data it consists of the exact values 
we will discuss example for each type of the data which will make clear sense about the data and its types continuous data and this this consists or deals with collective values so let's uh, we will discuss now the examples from which we will be clear about the uh, data so example quantitative data when we discuss about the quantitative data data on attributes such as intelligence honesty wisdom cleanliness we cannot measure these numbers we cannot measure these things in numbers so uh, this is quantitative this is quantitative data this is the examples of quantitative data from our real life intelligence honesty wisdom and cleanliness and so on the things just like these which don't deal with the numbers is called quantitative data and uh, qualitative data information may be classified in this uh, in qualitative data uh, these examples are number of students playing different sports from your class now we are dealing with numbers number of students number of students scoring a grade in an exam now when we are uh, talking about the numbers numbers then this is called qualitative data now these are the sub two types of uh, the qualitative data nominal data and ordinal data nominal data for example we say that uh, uh, this is a very hot this is very hot this is very, um, something you are um, talking about the tea that um, this tea is very hot it is very hot very cold warm hot cold now these when we are uh, these all are nominal data when considered individually when you are talking about some individual that this thing is very hot this is very cold warm and so on then this is called nominal data you are not caring about the order we don't need to make them organize or make uh, an order for that so this is this is called nominal data but when when we place hot cold and etc on a scale it become ordinal data just like thermometer galvanometer and so on now we make a scale we make a scale and this scale uh, have now this scale just like weather you can say weather weather uh, so this is ordinal data we have to care about the order so this was the example of ordinal data now we will discuss about uh, 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 sub two types of quantitative data the first one is discrete data the first one is discrete data so we can uh, this is uh, exact values discrete uh, data contains exact values uh, for example we are talking about uh, a class so there are uh, here are i am uh, talking about uh, the marks 10 marks how many student got 10 marks two students 12 marks how many student uh, got 12 marks one student so we are talking about the exact values exact values 10 is an exact value we are saying that two stu two student of a class got 10 marks one student of a class got 12 marks seven student of the class got 14 marks six students of the class got 18 marks and five student of a class got 20 marks so this is discrete data this is discrete data now we will uh, see an example of continuous data so continuous data this uh, this data in in this type of the data we classify we classified so 0 to 10 this is an interval mean to say that there are five students who got the numbers from 0 to 10 maybe uh, in these five student one student got seven marks one student got six marks one student got Three marks, one student got nine marks, and one student got maybe ten marks. But we we are making an interval, so zero to ten. We are dis we are discussing or uh, talking about a group. So zero to ten. Now this is a interval. 
फाइव स्टूडेंट गॉड्स गॉड मार्क्स इन दिस रेंज टू स्टूडेंट गॉड मार्क्स इन दिस रेंज एंड थ्री स्टूडेंट गॉड मार्क्स इन दिस रेंज सेवन स्टूडेंट गॉड्स गॉड मार्क्स इन दिस रेंज सो दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कंटिन्यूस डाटा इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अ ग्रुप डाटा सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ डाटा एंड इट्स टाइप वी हैव डिस्कस डाटा एंड इट्स टाइप नाउ आई uh now i uh, summarize this topic or lecture so basically uh, data data the first one is data and is is two type qualitative data and quantitative data qualitative data have two types nominal and ordinal Sim- in similar way quantitative data have two sub types discrete and continuous now nominal data is the data in which we don't care about the order and ordinal data is the data in which we care about the order of the facts order of the data and quantitative data first one is discrete data we will discuss in this about individuals just uh, i gave an example that uh, we have to mention uh, exact mark of marks of every student and similar way continuous data are grouped data in bit in in this in this type of the data we will discuss about the collective values so this was uh, the first lecture on data and its types uh, i have discussed in this lecture thank you very much